Hello everyone, I am Dr. C.P. Ravi Kumar. I am a consultant pediatric neurologist at Haster Hospitals in Bangalore. This video is about febrile seizures. This is a very common condition in pediatric neurology and we do come across a lot of parents who have a lot of questions about it. So that is why I am making this video. I hope it uh, helps you and clarifies many of your doubts. So what is febrile seizure? It is basically a seizure that happens when the child has fever. It is not epilepsy. This is a common myth and common fear from many parents. So febrile seizure is different, epilepsy is different. In epilepsy, you have a seizure without any reason or it can happen again and again with or without fever. Whereas in febrile seizure, it is always associated with fever. It is very common in the age group between 6 months to 6 years of age. So the common question is, can we prevent it? It is always difficult to prevent it. Even though it is always with, we say, febrile seizure is with fever, there are many instances where the child had a fever, parents have done everything they can and the child can still have a seizure or even if you are in hospital and with a doctor, it can still happen. So you notice that the child is happily playing, child throws a seizure, when you go and pick him, pick him or pick her, then you notice the child is boiling hot and the temperature is very high, that is the first alert for you that child has a fever. So what I am trying to convey is, it is not always predictable, it is not always possible for you to prevent it and even if you are a doctor or even if you are in a hospital, this takes you out of a blue and very difficult to prevent it. In some children who are more prone to have seizures with fever, doctors might have advised you to give one tablet called Clobazam or the common market name is called Freesium to prevent possibility of a seizure but even then this is not 100% but that can probably help. So as I said before, it's common between 6 months to 6 years and parents ask, can we not give any medicines to prevent it happening again? Because it is so infrequent and it doesn't mean it will happen again, giving regular medicine is not at all helpful. In fact, it may be more harmful. They subside on its own and no need to give any regular medicine. But just be aware, it may happen and what you have to do when it happens, how to handle it. The next question often people ask is, will it cause any harm, is it dangerous, will it cause brain damage? But what you need to understand is, it is a very common condition, it does not cause any brain damage or for that matter, any seizure, whatever may be the cause, in majority of the cases, it doesn't cause brain damage. There are few exceptions. Out of 100, maybe one or two children or one or two percent the seizure can go on for very long time, that is for minutes, minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, sometimes for days. They are the ones which can cause brain damage. But generally, the febrile seizures does not cause any brain damage. Then often another question parents ask is, will my child have second febrile seizure? When we meet them after the first episode, this is always that fear, will it happen again? It is difficult to predict. Febrile seizure is not always because of fever, even some infections itself triggers of the febrile seizures. So there are certain risk factors which we can say predisposes the child to the second episode. For example, uh, the younger the age of onset. If they are less than 12 months or less than 15 months, the chances of a second episode of febrile seizure is slightly possible. Second one, family history, parents having febrile seizure or a sibling having febrile seizure increases the probability of second episode. The third one is if the child had developmental delay or some other neurological problem, then the possibility of a second episode is much higher. So all these are probabilities which can help us to say, okay, it may happen, but there is no foolproof test or foolproof system to identify whether this child will have a second episode of febrile seizure. And finally, one of the common question which parents always have in their mind, some ask, will my child develop epilepsy? So it is always difficult to give a straightforward black and white answer but what you need to understand is a normal healthy child with simple febrile seizure if you take 100 of them probably 2 or 3 can develop epilepsy. Generally no. If you still have any questions, if you still have a, need any clarification you can always meet me at Aster CMI Hospital at Hebbard in Aster New Kids which is a pediatric neurology department. Thank you. Have a nice day.